uh, the Lord just was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, wreck you real, real quick. <laughs> and that's the Happy Monday. Um, my bad. My dad is being such a creeper right now. He's literally outside my window. <laughs> Wowzers. Who was that? Ooh, so I'm on my way to the gym. Monday morning. I just got out of an intense prayer with the Lord. He is just so good, y'all. Oh my God. Oh, I'm just like just reminded of like the friendship with the Lord and just building and cultivating friendship with the Lord just as we build and cultivate friendship with people that we get to know that we admire that we love um yeah that we're like building relationship with like that's how intentional we should be about seeking communion with God like it's just so beautiful anyway he was just reminding me of like all that, that all that he said over 2022 and just like him keeping his promises and also the fact that he did not fail there's this one um there's this one spontaneous worship i don't know if it's a song that she sings but a few maybe around when the pandemic first started um miranda curtis i think that's her full name miranda curtis she had this song uh that she sang in the middle of worship and it was um at your feet will remain as you fight all our battles fight all our battles at your feet will remain as you fight all our battles fight all our battles and I just was like the posture that she was in mind you I was reminded of this this morning but I heard it year, like literally in 2020 and that's just the posture that we get to remain in when we commune with God because as we surrender to him the heaviness the loads of our day right like the things that worry us the things that stress us out shake us up you know we get to be at his feet remain there because he invited us there as he fights all of our battles and we put in our part but the best part is that he fights it like we get to live this life from a place of we already won <laughs> like what what does that even mean? Um, anyway, I'm on my way to the gym. I have my pre-workout. I tried to like wean myself off of Celsius, but here we are again. Definitely had a cup of coffee this morning. And here we are. So my Vlogmas schedule, for those of you who are wondering, will be Fridays, as of now, will be Fridays and Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday mornings. So... I mean, Vlogmas is looking a little different this year because I am working on a summit that I'm going to do on December 16th, I believe, whatever that Friday is. And so that is going to be a thing. Um, so I'm sure there'll be a link or something for you to sign up in the description box. And if not, check out the next video because there definitely will be something by then. But I've just been like just wanting to just genuinely teach what God has deposited me for so long um and it has to do with the three areas that i've always just been super passionate about um soul care which really 
affects your confidence in the Lord and in the things that you get to do. Then there is business, right? Entrepreneurship and how God has called us to be the best of the best, y'all. And then there's like community building, right? Like how to actually build authentic community with people. Um, just be authentic, right? So anyway, I cannot wait to teach that. And I just know it's, it's a God moment because the enemy has tried it so much with me in this area. Um, in the area of actually putting this out there. Oh, that is cold. Ah, I hope you guys enjoyed my last vlog. <laughs> uh, if you did not watch it, you might want to watch it. It was actually a cute vlog. We baked cookies. They were so good. Uh, and actually, I didn't even mention. Did I mention it? I can't even. I can't even remember if I mentioned it at the end of the video. But like Monday night. The day that I was working at the coffee shop, so it was the day before, the day of, and then the day after, but the day of was the first clip um, where I was at the coffee shop and like I had no idea what was about to transpire the hours to come. The, the Lord just was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, wreck you real, real quick. <laughs> and that he to go to the gym today is beyond me i am so tired i am sore from yesterday's workout i was drinking these um bcas which are these like essential sorry these essential amino acids that just kind of help with muscle recovery but i ran out and then i was like uh i'm like in a budgeting mode like a super budgeting mode right now and so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna have to face it you know just do what i gotta do to help my muscles kind of come back to life so i am a little sore today but knowing me i'm still gonna go to the gym um, one of the main things that this year has taught me with just my relationship with fitness and wellness is that um yeah, you could make a decision overall, but really what makes that decision a decision is deciding it every day. You don't just decide it. You don't just make a decision and leave it up in the air. You make a decision and you choose that every single day. Every day. Some days you're not going to want to get out of bed or work out <laughs> but these days are what make your decision your decision <laughs> it's a matter of the decisions that you make daily that make up the outcome of the decision that you made in faith and trust you know, knowing, believing in yourself, knowing that you can do it. It's one thing knowing that you can do it and actually doing it. Because we can all have a belief system in ourselves, but do we actually do the thing that we know we can do? Or is it just this like imagination or thought, a version of ourselves that go to the gym or that finish finish reading books we started or finish projects we started is it an imagination or can you really make her or him a reality that's that's the thing so anyway i'm about to go get ready i have my gymshark um leggings here i have my pat sun sweater here um i went to sleep with this like fabletics thermal like this is not a bralette it's not a sports bra either but it's something like that. My hair has been in, a, in two braids since yesterday because the day before I actually washed it and I um, put like a deep conditioner in it because I had it straightened for like a week and a half. Was it like a week and a half? Yeah, like a week and some change. 
So homegirl had to, you know, make sure her curls come back to life. So I might curl up my hair today or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I might leave it in the braids again today. I want to refresh it though. Oh God, here we go. It is Tuesday. Let's make it a great one. 